So I just got back from probably one of the coolest experiences I've ever done. Definitely the coolest run I've ever done. Well, I'm not sure exactly how we got <laughs> to this point. <laughs> how did we get to this point? Greg is about to get to go on a little warm up jog. <laughs> With uh, quite possibly one of the best runners in the entire world, yeah. Arnulfo. Arnulfo is a Tarumara. If you've read Born to Run, he is a central uh, figure character. Yep. If you own the book, I've read this book and it feels like it's strange to read a book and then meet the yeah. people and in the book. And he's a character in real life. Let's just say he's quite well-traveled, a little bit goofy and silly. I feel like we enjoyed some <laughs>, laughs earlier. Through his runs, he's been to Japan, Spain, all uh, over the United Texas, States. Texas, all over the U.S. He knows yeah. the U.S. better than we yep. than we do. Uh, we'll see if we can talk to him on camera, but we do kind of want to respect uh, him and his privacy and whatnot. So, I don't know, we'll see, but... Are you ready to go on a jog? I don't know, I just ate beans and Greg tortillas. and really, really casino. slow, and he kind of chuckled, so... Almost there. I'll pray for you. <laughs> We're about to go how far? I think it's 5K, round trip. Okay. 50K. 50, no, 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 <laughs> five. What, maybe... I know, I think a little more. 5K round trip, <laughs> either about that. See. Si. Más o menos. Okay. Más o menos. With one of the best runners in the world. Marnulfo. Yeah, he's a champion of the Copper Canyons. Okay. Marathon. Do you think you can keep up, Greg? Not a chance. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See you guys later. Well, coolest run I've ever done isn't saying a whole lot, but coolest experience I've I've ever uh, had, ever experienced is saying a lot, especially for our travels here in Mexico. Uh, I just ran with one of the best runners in the entire world, uh, Arnulfo. He is a Tarumara, and if you don't know, Tarumara uh, is a group of indigenous people that live here in the Barrancas de Cobre area, here in kind of the uh, the middle of the Copper Canyon in Chihuahua, and they were really made famous from the book Born to Run or Nacidos para Correr uh, by Christopher McDougall, and that's where I first learned about the Tarumaras, where many of you first learned about the Tarumara, uh, if not maybe on Facebook seeing many of the different posts uh, showing uh, these incredible group of people that that were that were born to run that were nacidos para correr that have been running their whole life their whole ancestry has been running uh to hunt to get food to live uh, to flee from danger uh and whatnot and it's just uh they are an incredible group of people and some of the best runners in the entire world and i just had the opportunity to run with uh, arnulfo and it was really uh humbling and just an incredible experience because he He's one of the best runners in the world. Uh, he won the 2006 uh, Orique Ultra Marathon, um, and I'm sure he's he's topped in the top three, top five in many many other races. He again is just one of the best. I mean, he beats the the craziest thing about, uh, or one of the, to me one of the coolest stories about the Tarumara is this group of people that they don't train. They're just running and walking and moving long distances as part of their life. They don't have uh, Apple Watches tracking uh, their fitness. They don't have Fitbits tracking their steps. Uh, they don't wear designer running shoes. They don't have Nikes. Uh, they wear Wadaches. They wear sandals made basically from, from rubber, from tire, and with like a little leather strap around it. They're wearing sandals to run these 50, 100-mile races. And just very uh you know they're not they don't have a camelback like i'm going to be wearing and all this crazy stuff just it's just a part of their life and they're beating some of the best runners from all across the world that are sponsored athletes sponsored by brooks and all these fancy running shoes and that wear heart rate monitors and track everything and put everything on a running database like strava i think is the name of it and uh or have training plans and periodization and coaches and all this and despite all of that, uh, this incredible group of, of the Tarumara are able to to really be on on the world stage in terms of running. And I had the opportunity, just me, I'm not even a runner, not even like a definitely, definitely not a professional, not even a, a, an amateur runner had the opportunity to run with one of the best. It's as if 
maybe you know you grew up playing basketball kind of in in your you had a basketball goal in your driveway and then you go to a hotel and are able to play basketball with Michael Jordan or or I don't know LeBron James or or I can't think of who's good these days Kobe Bryant uh and uh that's essentially what I was able to do I was able to run with one of the best athletes in the entire world and and he was incredibly nice. Well, he is incredibly nice, incredibly humble, has zero ego. Uh, we talked the whole run. We only, we only ran like two or three miles, so just real short. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, yeah, I think it's just amazing to, to meet an athlete, meet uh, really just a person these days that's incredibly humble, has no ego, is interested in you, wants to learn about you, wants to talk and uh is is willing to run with someone like me who who is is a complete nobody uh in the world of running or athletics and any of that and i I don't know it's just uh again imagine playing basketball or imagine uh playing soccer with uh messi is is maybe a better a better analogy for some of you it's just really uh really a unique experience and something that I didn't think we we're gonna we we're gonna have a lot of cool experiences here in the in the Copper Canyon here at the Cabana San Isidro, uh, but that is not one I expected to have. So uh, he went really slow for me. His throat was hurting a little bit, so we did uh, we did walk a little bit. We just took it really easy and uh, kind of talked as we went. And yeah, that was just uh, one of those short 20, 30 minute moments that that I will not that I will not forget and, and forever thankful for uh to our Nulfo for for uh I don't know just allowing me to run with him and again being humble humble enough to to bring himself down to my level. I think a very interesting point to tie this all together is that the best shoes, the best clothes, the best uh coaches even or the best watches don't make you the best athlete. They may, they may, they may help. They definitely may help, but they, uh, you know, we're looking at at Arnulfo and an entire group of people that don't have any of those things and are able to 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 beat uh, pretty much everybody else in the world that does. And I think in a, in a very materialistic world that we live in, uh, it's important to. I don't know, just remember that we don't need all those things, and especially just to do something like running. That's as simple as just needing a pair of shoes or a pair of sandals, and and that's all you need. And that's all you need to potentially be one of the best runners in the world, and especially for us trying to inspire uh, you all and inspire the world to have us do more, be more. Meeting someone like Arnulfo is like I'm looking at the person that best fits that mold that that best exemplifies that life in terms of just having no ego he doesn't need anything fancy he doesn't have a whole lot and yet uh, I mean he's traveled to Japan and, and the entire world uh, just because of his pure raw talent and uh, dedication to to living uh, this this lifestyle and it's just uh, I don't know I really don't. I definitely don't qualify to to run with them, or nor really even speak about about him, about the Tarumata, their history, or their running abilities. But I'm here. I'm trying. I'm trying to do my best, and it was just a very uh, very humbling experience for me. And hopefully, hopefully, uh, I don't know something you guys enjoy watching.